Welcome back to VBPA Tutorials. I am Venkat. Till now, we have seen how to create roll CRUD operations and also how to consume those endpoints from the Angular application. From this video onwards, we are going to create role privileges CRUD operations and we are going to consume these role privileges from the Angular applications. Let us start implementing the role privileges. So this is the role controller we have created earlier. Let us create role privileges controller. Right click on controllers folder and create controller. Select API and click on API controller empty. Name it as role privilege controller. And this is the role privilege controller. And let us create the constructor. You can copy it from role controller. So we implemented that many times. We don't need to write it separately. So copy the change the controller constructor. So now this is the role privilege controller and this is the constructor. So here we need to make it role privilege repository. Role privilege repository and here also role privilege repository, role privilege repository. So now our controller is ready for creating the CRUD operations. But before implementing the CRUD operations, we need to create the DTO for getting the data. Okay, let us create the DTO first. This is the role DTO. Similarly, we need to create role privilege DTO. So create new class. Role privilege DTO. Add it. So what we need? So same fields like this. So but here instead of role name, role privilege name and also extra role ID will be there. You can check in the database tables. So ID, role privilege name, description, role ID is active. Okay. Remaining are the normal fields. Okay. Here also you can see roles table. So extra we will be having role ID. So this is the role privilege DTO. And we have created role privilege controller. So our role privilege controller is now ready to implement the CRUD operations. Okay. Let us implement the CRUD operations from next video onwards. For more videos like this, Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.